GCAD Weekly. And to Decatur we go. These two long-standing rivals get it going. Here's East Central in the gold uniforms. And Xandria Dowd in the lane lays that one in for a bucket. Back the other way. Three-pointer hit there by Alveda Clemens for East Mississippi. Now look at the ball movement here. Here's Germanica Orton. The Ole Miss transfer knocks down to three. Out to the near wing. Here's Janiah Matthew laying that one down as both teams exchange three-pointers in this first half. Here's another three for the near wing. And East Mississippi led it 41-28 at the break. Okay, second half action now. It's 56-50 inside a three to go. East Mississippi with the lead. Here come the Warriors. Jumper up and good by Kelsia Bufkin. Look at the ball movement here. Up to Bufkin. Going to pull the trigger for three. Good. And it's a one possession game inside of two to go. Near wing. Bufkin again hits the three. And the Warriors take the lead. But the Lions answer. Nice give right there. Brantley from Hickman. And East Mississippi with the lead. Five point lead. Here's Orton for three. Trims it to one. But clutch free throws by Hickman at the line. First one good. Second one good. And East Mississippi gets the win in Decatur knocking off the Warriors 67 to 61. Um, basically, you know, I actually have like the whole team to blame. Like we did good, everybody stepped up and we played a good game. We came out at the end. First half we did really good and we came out pushing at the end. Just keep, keep my mind in the game and focus on knocking my free throw down. Yeah, um, well, as far as I could have had more points, but as far as the free throws, my free throws weren't going in at all. So um, my teammate, Jamonica Orton, which is a very awesome player, she, she kind of picked the momentum up for me. It was a tough situation, handling, trying to back, try to come back. But, you know, hopefully I can have some help from, help from X and keep it moving, get a W. I actually got sent here by Ole Miss out of high school because of my grades, but actually right now I'm undecided. I may go back to Ole Miss, but I haven't made no certain. I'm leaving all my options open still. You know, I was sitting up there thinking about it a while ago. That's our seventh ball game that we've been in that exact same situation, and we just hadn't found a way to, to pull out that first win. I think once we get that, I think maybe we'll get over the hump and things might be a little brighter for us. Oh, great win for us. It's also a big region win that we picks up, and considering we're playing uh, this game without our best player, who's also the second leading scorer in the country. Our kids stepped up, and we had two or three kids to step into her board, and they did a great job. And to the nightcap we go, East Mississippi in red and East Central in white. Here's Cordarian Nichols, the Newton native, with an acrobatic move to get the game's first bucket. East Mississippi, what talented team, looking to get back to Kansas. Reverse jam put up and in. And the Lions build a big lead. Lob down low underneath, and that one slammed up and in. And East Mississippi building a big lead. Here's some defense. Long lead here to McPherson, and he goes uncontested for the lay-in. More defense by the Lions. Here's a steal. McPherson, watch the trailer off the window and Borchardt with the jam, and the Lions lead comfortably at the break. Second half here. Here's Leatherwood in the lane. Can't get it to go, but there's Wrench with the rebound. He lays it up and in. Now more East Central. Off the miss Nichols. Underneath Watford with a nice reverse layup here in the second half. Lions driving. There's Watford with the steal. Skip pass and the foul and the bucket for Nichols. It'd be all Lions though. Nice move in the lane as Houston puts that one up and in. And it was all Lions here. Here's Houston. Back to Hall and the lay-in puts it up and in, and the Lions roll, 86 to 61. You gotta take pride in, in uh, rebound, because that, that's all my coach teach, rebound and defend. This team has a uh, I plan on, as a team, uh, going to regions, uh, win it all, and go back to Kansas and do accomplish what we did last year. It was all my coach was coming to my games, looking at me and recruiting. and. It really wasn't good enough tonight, so I had to keep working. I got here by doing the same thing in high school, doing the, making good grades. So 
Coach um, came, covered my games, watched me, he liked what I did, and so he offered me the scholarship to come here, and I accepted it. I mean, our guys are definitely playing hard. Uh, they're definitely a good team. We just got to do a better job of rebounding and take, get in position to take charges. Uh, a lot of times we had them out of control, but they managed to slip through and we managed to follow them. We put them on the free throw line way too many times tonight, and I think that was a difference in the game. We know how good we can be, um, but it's just a matter every day of coming out and working. Um, you know, the season's still young. There's still a lot of basketball to be played. Uh, but we still, uh, you know, we, we li I like the team we have right now. I like the talent we have, but uh, talent doesn't mean, any, doesn't mean a thing if you don't work hard.